What single thing defines the success of your school? I think the thing that matters most about Bryanston is the attention to the individual. Um, and that's the single thing. But then it's played out in a variety of ways. So um, we really cherish the variety of the pupils who come here. Um, we're proud of all the different talents that people have. Are your parents paying for their children to join a social elite and does this matter? Again, a really interesting question. Um, in some ways, yes, they are. Parents are paying for a, a good education and a good liberal all-round education that's not just about exam results. Um, they're also buying, um, in effect, friendships for life and support for life. So um, when people leave Brownstone, they become known as OBs, Old Brownstonians, um, and they tend to stay in touch. How do you react to wealthy parents offering donations to the development fund before their, ch their child has enrolled in the school? I don't think that's ever happened either. Um, however, if it were to happen, um, I would say we have to be very clear. The basis on which your child is being admitted to the school is on their ability, their talents and their character. Um, and I don't think I would be in a position to receive any gift, however lavish. How do you define bullying and how do you deal with it? I think the best definition I know of bullying, and there are lots of them, um, but the best I know is behaviour that causes hurt or distress. Um, and behaviour in causing that hurt and distress, which works upon the vulnerability of the person who's being bullied, making them feel miserable. Um, the way we deal with it is having an awful lot of very strong pastoralists involved in every aspect of the school um, and making sure that, first of all, we know about it. I think that's the first thing. Um, and then once we know about the behaviour, then we can deal with it through our structures for pastoral and disciplinary. When did you last expel a pupil and why? Yes, um, we tend to have an understanding with parents where if we reach that point, I offer parents the opportunity to remove their child. And it was earlier this term and it was for involvement in drugs. And indeed, that pupil went on and found a place in another very different day school. How do you justify getting paid more than the Prime Minister? I can't. <laughs> There's no possible justification for it. I think it's completely barmy that the Prime Minister doesn't earn as much as I do.